Hey guys, Manga Comics back here with another comic book haul. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and do these whenever uh, the need hits or the feeling, whatever it is. Um, you know, and also I'm doing them this way. I forgot to mention last time. I'm doing them this way because uh, my the face to face uh, ones seem to go a little longer, and uh, I. I don't know. I don't, I'm sure. I don't know if you guys mind longer videos, but I didn't. Um, I didn't want you sitting there for 30 minutes. Just I, I don't think my videos are worth it uh, for 30 minutes. So, uh, but yeah, I got a haul. It was free comic book day uh, yesterday because today's Sunday. And Avengers came out. Oh my goodness! And Avengers came out. And guys. The movie was so amazing. I saw it twice in one day on Friday. I would have gone Thursday night, but something came up and I couldn't. And then Friday, I went one time to see it by myself. Then the second time, so I could really pay attention. Then the second time, I went with my friends and we just joked around on it. Uh, but oh man. Oh man, that movie was amazing. I, I'm going to see it again this later this week. Uh, once I'm done with finals. Uh, oh man, that movie was outstanding. Oh, I'm not saying anything about it. Uh, if you guys want to talk about it, just we can talk in the comments. But I don't want to spoil it for anyone who has not seen it because it's the first weekend. Oh man, I I, I don't know. I, the movie was amazing. It was amazing. Outstanding, guys. But you guys aren't here for Avengers. Maybe you are, but Avengers was amazing. Uh, so, let me thank my new subscribers um, uh, for subscribing to my channel and watching. So, that's going to be Kevin's Comics. <clears throat> I'm not sure how many of you are already subbed to him, but if you aren't, uh, his videos are, are really great. So, And I think he has a contest going on right now. So, you guys can sub to him in uh, enter his contest. And the uh, next one is La La Love Medicine. Yep, that's what it says. So, alright, thank you guys for subscribing and watching my vids. Uh, so, uh, let's get into this haul because there's a lot of books um, that I have to show. So, I'm going to... I've got books from... Uh, some weeks ago, uh, some new books from some weeks ago, and some things I picked up off eBay. And I'm gonna just run through this free comic book day stuff because, uh, you know, it was free comic book day. I actually didn't even mean to go to free comic book day. I went to go get regular books, and uh, my shop's free comic book day hadn't even started yet, so I was waiting in line with people and uh we were talking about avengers and it, ah, avengers <laughs> age of ultron was amazing oh my goodness oh man so i hope you guys leave some stuff in the comments about the movie you know we can talk about it um and yeah we were just talking about different things like fantastic four and different movies like that so uh all right so first free comic book day i got divergence um have not read this yet you know so it was like i said i didn't mean to go but since i since i did go i thought i'd pick some stuff up um so divergence i'll see if i'll get the regular series when it comes out but i'm not sure yet next i got the amazing spider-man who am i again i'm not sure well, I'm guessing he's questioning who he is. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I'm not sure what this book entails. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I like I like what Marvel did this time, by the way. How it looks like a regular comic. But on the back is where it says it's you know not for resale. Basically telling you it's free comic book day. And that. And it's the zero price. Uh, DC with the big, like, what, okay, it's already says free comic book day, this is redundant, and, you know, so, that kind of bothered me. Again, with Marvel, just a beautiful book, 
you know and then right there they have that it's uh Secret Wars number zero, which is fine because that would have that would have had to be somewhere. The fact that this is a uh, a wraparound cover still doesn't take away from it. Alex Ross is freaking amazing. His art, man, holy crap! So that is two Iron Man and Superior and regular, and just Nova. The man, all of these people. That that's just amazing. So, uh. And I got the previews of Secret Wars as well. Free comic book day. Uh, so, should have some good things in here. And, huh? Deadpool Secret Wars. Oh, that's cool. Uh, lastly, Jimmy C, this book's for you if you're watching. Uh, <laughs> picked up some great SpongeBob. Oh, also, I got a Fear Itself sketchbook. So, um,. I don't know. I might not keep it because it not much is going on in it. It's not like the sketchbook for uh, House of M. And I got this print that they had of Inhumans. Looked pretty cool, so picked it up. Uh, so like I said, Jimmy C. Uh, <laughs> no, just joking. Um, this is actually for my nephew. You know, he loves SpongeBob, so picked him up the free comic book day uh man and this was the last one and the guy in line had passed it up and uh you know i i, I said oh man i hope i i hope i can get that for him so because th this is the last one um uh, so got this for him uh okay so on to the books i got this week um they're not in any particular order i mean it's more it's dc then Marvel. So, okay, yep. So, first Supergirl 40. I was watching Kingpin PKR's video, um, and he said this is the last issue. I think that was him who uh, mentioned it uh, of Supergirl. So, that's kind of a bummer because this was uh, one of my favorite things to read when I got new comics. So, but. I mean, I guess that's how it goes. Batman number 40. Really glad to get this one because uh, I got to my shop and they had ran out of copies. The only ones that were left was the one on the wall. And the one on the wall, surprisingly, is in really good condition. So, yeah, that's cool. So... And he was cool enough to give it to me off the wall. Uh, I wasn't sure if he would or he wouldn't. Because he, he mentioned it. But he didn't say he would give it to me. So, But uh, I said, uh, can, can I get that one? <laughs> and uh, he said, sure. So uh, Then I got Flash Season 0, number 7. I don't, why is it called Season 0? Uh, but yeah, as long as they keep pumping them out, I'll keep picking them up. Flash, number 40. Uh, didn't realize four dollar price tag on my flash. Uh, I hope they're not. That's not gonna stay because I'm used to the two ninety nine. Oh, um, so then I got Miss Marvel. This book I almost missed because, as you can see, it does not say Miss Marvel here. It's, it's right here, and uh, I was looking through the rags for it, and I said, "Where's Miss Marvel?" I couldn't see. So, uh. <laughs> But I still remember that I needed to pick it up, but, and so, I was just going through the racks, and I said, oh, they did the cover weirdly, so. Thor, number seven. Here in eight, they're going to reveal who she is, and I think that comes out, uh, this week's, for this week's comics, so. That should be interesting. I'm sure that'll be the biggest news of comics that week. So, Amazing Spider-Man, 16.1. I think I have 16 already. I think I read it. Yeah. Yeah, because that was after uh, the whole Spider-Verse. So, yeah. 16.1. 17. And 17.1. I will say this. Ramos's art isn't bothering me as much as it was. Maybe that break helped. I don't know. I I'm going to... 
when it's issue 30 and he's still on or whatever, if he, I'll, I'll check back in with you guys and let you know if it's still bothering. But it doesn't bother me right now. I don't know. It looks okay. And lastly for Marvel, I got uh, Silver Surfer number 11. Not sure if this is the last issue or not, but um, it's a special oversized issue. And it's only 11, so. And it was uh, freaking $5, so. And they say oversized, but that does not look so oversized. <laughs> you know, this uh, Marvel Secret Wars preview is oversized. You know, that there's a lot of material in there. So. But it be what it be. Alright, so that was my new books, guys. And the rest of the stuff is going to be what I got off of um, eBay. So... First up, Secret Wars number five. Um, uh, for my trade, I did with uh, Manny NYC. I mean, I had every issue except this, so I finally picked it up and just reread the series. I didn't have to because it was good enough to remember, but I just wanted to. So uh, now this is going to be. Ooh. Oh. You guys seen this? So I've got Secret Invasion number one. Um, you know, last video I showed I had Secret Wars, um, in Crisis on Infinite Earths, and I have Secret Wars two. Uh, the new Secret Wars is coming out. So you know, I just was looking on people's eBay pages and noticed that they had secret invasion so I picked that up as well and uh, I think this is the event right after uh, Civil War because in Civil War uh, oh love that cover with vision on it and vision was the bomb in Avengers <laughs> uh, but anyway after Civil War um, during Civil War you know they uh, show Nick Fury for a second and he's already dealing with the scroll so I think it's yeah, Civil War Secret uh Se Civil War Secret Invasion. Um uh, It's a real cool cover. And this was just a, a great story, um <clears throat> with the scroll queen having Iron Man think he he's a scroll and he's been a scroll and that you know, it kinda makes you wonder if you'd really if someone told you you were someone else, you know, how would you take that? So, uh, then I have X-Men Divided. We stay in. Just really like these covers. So, pick them both up. Uh, and they were really cheap. I think they were a buck each. So, that was cool. Okay, let me move these. So, then... After Secret uh, Secret Invasion, I wonder what the next event's uh, story was. So, turned out it was Fear Itself uh, with the uh, Great Serpent and the uh, Hammers and everything. So, that was really cool. So, I picked it up. Um, that was one, two, three, four. And, uh, I think in three, um, Red Skull's daughter kills Bucky Barnes, Captain America. And, I, you know, after I read this whole series, I, I really felt like they just did it just to do that and get Captain America, Steve Rogers, back as Captain America. And, uh, his freaking chill broke in this, uh... <laughs> series I, I that that blew my mind i was just, uh i mean the cover kind of gave it away but um yeah that was insane you know you know he just keeps throwing it at the uh great serpent and he after a while he just catches it and, and breaks it and you know captain america's just the guy in the costume after that um so yeah this was a cool story though so uh i guess i'm tracking down all the event stories it seems like so then uh saw this guy had a bid on some amazing spider-man issues nothing major but some of the ones i needed uh especially since i don't really collect this number yet uh this is ah 615 
They're in great condition. Uh, he didn't have 616. He had 617. Then these things just keep falling. 617's cover always. I thought it was really cool. 618. I have a variant of this where it's a white cover and it's still Mysterio on it. But uh, I like the regular cover better. Um, and what is this? 619. Also really cool. And the 600 issue covers are um, really cool. And I like the art style they use in these in the uh in this run uh so that was cool and almost done guys all right so then i also picked up a uh event series from dc and that was identity crisis number one again uh manny nyc had given me a few issues of this but um I never had the full run, so picked it up, and uh, I read this. This was really cool. Um, it was a little mystery of you know who done it kind of thing, uh, which was really cool for me because I, I love uh, mystery. And also Michael Turner did these insane covers. Uh, look at that. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. So. Uh, Five. The only question I had with this series is, um, because I I, I kind of knew this already, but I never know how. How did uh Hal Jordan become the uh Spectre? You know, cause um, Green Arrow Oliver Queen goes in visits him. Um, and first he shows up as the Spectre. Uh, but then he um, you know, Oliver tells him, you know. That, that form always f creeps him out, so uh, could he just be Hal Jordan and uh, they have a talk or whatnot. But uh, yeah, this was a really cool series. Um, you know, in issue six, you think you know who did it, and um, they on the last issue, they, they completely flipped the script on you. So it was really cool. Um, so I picked that up, and they were all in great condition. The person said, I got these all from one seller also. Uh, yeah. Well, not the uh, Amazing Spider-Man books. Mine is those. I got Identity Crisis. Fear Itself. Uh, X-Men Divided We Stand. And what? Secret Invasion. Yeah, in Secret Invasion. Uh, I got all of those from one seller. And if you spent $40, uh, oh, and I got a few other books that I'm going to show from them. But if you spent $40, then it was all free shipping. So uh, in the long run, it was worth it because otherwise I would have, I saved like $20 to $30 on shipping. Uh, so that was cool. And these last few books I also got from that seller. So it was the, all of this was forty dollars. So uh, I got JLA uh, um, versus the Teen Titans. I think this is so. You know, just really cool. Thought uh, I'd give it a read. So this is part one of three. This is part two of three. And part three of three. So, JLA versus Titans. Uh, I'm a, I'm a big uh, versus guy, so that's really cool. Oh, this video is running quite long. All right, the last three books I got uh, from I think this is 1990, a World's Finest series. So that's one, two, and three. So that's. All I got, guys, uh, for everything. This video is running quite long, so um, I'll be watching more of you guys' videos. Um, hope you had a good free comic book day, and uh, I'll uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll do another video whenever I get some more books to show you guys. So um, all right, bye.